Students of class 7, uh, this is Sir Anthony Kashung, your social science teacher. Today we will learn a lesson from uh, chapter 7, that is human environment or human interaction, so to say. Well, uh, in the previous class, we have learned about transport and communications. We have learned some of the points about this transport, its usefulness and types of transport system and even communications well today we'll learn some of the interactions of human or human interaction so to say including uh, life in desert regions life in tropical and subtropical regions life in temperate regions so these are some of the important topics uh, that we will learn in, in this human interaction so today we will learn uh, uh, basically we will learn two points that is Sahara as a hot desert and Ladakh as a cold desert so to say life in desert regions well uh, before we go into the details of these very topics let us learn some of the important words that will uh, definitely appear in this lesson let us see the first one is deserts, dry regions where the amount rainfall, the amount of rainfall is less than 25 centimeters. That means the places where there is less rainfall. Sahara Desert, Sahara Desert, you all know it is one of the largest desert in the world. And oasis, oasis is a fertile spot, especially in a desert where water is found Mount Godwin Austin or Mount Katu okay the second highest peak in the world the highest peak in the world is Mount Everest and the second highest peak in the world is Mount Godwin Austin it is also called Mount K2 okay the basin an area drained by a river and its tributaries well let's go to the hot desert focus on this Sahara Sahara desert is located in the northern part of this Africa African continent all right and as far as the climate of this Sahara desert is concerned it is it has an extreme type of climate extreme means the summers are very hot and winter are very cold winters are very cold so to say in summer the temperature shoot up to 55 degrees Celsius and in winter it falls to uh, a freezing point or zero degree Celsius so to say the rainfall in these regions are very very scanty very less it's only 25 centimeter okay which doesn't support the growth of plants and vegetation so to say and days are usually very hot and nights are extremely cold in this Sahara desert let's go to the natural vegetation as natural vegetation in Sahara desert are barren barren means very scanty no plants the, the because of the hot and dry type of climate plants the growth of plants are not supported so there are uh, there are few plants or even animals so to say that are adapted to hot and dry type of climate uh, like they have a long deep roots waxy leaf and they have a uh, uh, so to say waxy leaf and even the thorny branches one of the best example is cacti and death palms these are the important plants uh, varieties of plants that are found in desert in the Sahara desert so this palm leaf are used for fodder fodder means food for uh, cattle animals and it is also used for as a fuel for burning for cooking and all and not only that you can see from the picture 
and they are using they use this palm leaves in order to cover themselves from the heat and from the cold they use as a roof rooftop so to say and the sap the very sap of this palm leaf uh, um, i mean palm tree are used for making wine so in the picture you can see different types of cacti okay cactus or cacti in plural form so let's go to the next one people uh, the people are usually found near the oasis or in the oasis oasis means in the huge desert where there are ponds and where there are a few plants of animals are found that is what we call as oasis oasis we have already learned that and people in this area sahara desert they grow cereals and few uh, and vegetables in a small amount and you know the egyptian cotton you might have heard it is very famous in the world and as far as the houses of the people are concerned most of the people are nomadic but those who settle permanently, their walls, their, their walls are very thick, usually very thick, and they have very small windows. They build this type of house in order to prevent heat, the heat of the sun, so to say. And you can see from the picture, people usually wear white and loose clothes, all right? And there are two important nomadic tribes in the Sahara Desert. The first one is what we call as bat, bat winds. You can see from the picture, this is a bat wind. And two are X. And the girl that you can see from the picture here is a, a two are X tribe. So these are two important nomadic tribes. tribes. They don't have a permanent place. They go from one place to another, okay, in search of food, in search of uh, fodder for their animals and all. So, some of the important animals found in this region are antelopes, jackals, sand rats, and gazelles, etc. Okay, so we have another type of desert. This is cold desert. Sahara is a hot desert and Ladakh is a cold desert. So as far as the Ladakh is concerned, you can see from the map here, it is located to the east of this Jammu and Kashmir. Previously, it was uh, under the state administration of Jammu and Kashmir, but recently, a few months ago, a couple of months ago, this Ladakh has been uh, Ladakh has been given uh, a union territory okay by the government of India under this Modi government all right but anyway our concern is not uh, uh, that but we are just going to see some of the features of the cold desert of this Ladakh okay it is also known as Kapachant, Kapachant in Ladakhi or the language of Ladakh is known as Snowland. Kapachant means Snowland. Okay. And they have two important ranges in this Ladakh. The first one is Ladakh Range and Karakoram Range. These are the two important mountain ranges that we have in Ladakh here. Okay, as we have all the alert, Mount Godwin Austin, you can see from here, you can see from the picture, that is Mount Katu, which is the second highest peak in the world, is located in this Ladakh. And they have many passes, all right, the first one is Karakoram Pass, another one is Joji, Jojila. Let us repeat again, Jojila Pass. So, from this signboard itself, you are at Jojila Pass, like that, it has been written. So, you can see it from the only through the pass, they can pass through, pass through their places. Okay. And most of the people, they settled in the river valleys. Right. So, climate, 
you know being a desert is a cold desert the climate is very very harsh it's very cold so cold very cold and it's very dry summer summer are warm okay the rainfalls are very scanty in this region same as the hot desert 25 centimeter one of the reason is it comes under the rain shadow rain shadow of the monsoon winds when india receive india receive uh, monsoon rains they come just under the shadow they do not receive any rainfall so to say so the snowfalls are very heavy it lasted for six months so when the snow started to fall in this ladakh they are completely cut off from the rays of india they don't have any route they don't have any roads or routes to pass through so they are usually cut off six months for, for from the rays of india let's go to the natural vegetation of ladakh okay this uh, like the hot desert even this uh, uh, Lada or the cold desert also they remain sandy due to the severe cold all right only some of the important uh, vegetation that you'll be able to see are am you from the picture you can see this is a you and cypress here in the picture right here some of the important animals are here and Kang, Kang is a type of donkey or a horse that you can see from the picture here. Wild sheep, Barasinga, this Barasinga is the type of a deer, you can say like it's just like a Shanghai, bro antler deer. And this uh, reptile or the reptil reptilian animals are completely absent except lizard in the house you'll find the only lizard as the only reptile that are found in this cold desert so people picture these are ladaki the people from ladakh they are very sturdy as well as hard working people they work very hard okay they're not a lazy people in summer they grow wheat barley and some vegetables yes the place are not covered with snow during the time during the summer season and they have apple apricots walnut grapes and so then different varieties of fruits their main occupation is god and sheep rearing all right and even their yak they use this yak as a base of burden they provide milk as well as they provide wool Pashima wool you know it is obtained from special god which is very popular and which is very important and lay you know the capital now it becomes the capital of this Lada Le is the capital town and Kargil is another town that are located in the border border that borders with Pakistan Leh is an administrative and commercial town this Leh is linked by air to Srinagar that is the capital of Jammu and Kashmir and the place becomes a tourist attraction okay so this tourism is the most important industry of this Union territory that is Ladakh and the government has made a rule so that uh, foreigners as well as the tourists can access to this place they can go to this place and enjoy the scenery and see the mountainous regions so hotel industries is, is a very very important industry because they don't have other industry in this place and not only that because of this hotel industry the standard of living in this place have been improved considerably all right so 
these are some of the important points of hot deserts as well as cold, des cold deserts okay basically on Sahara and Ladakh so we will learn up to here in the next class we will see life in tropical and subtropical regions and also life in the temperate regions so learn all the notes from study materials which I have sent you in your whatsapp group also subscribe to my youtube channel may god bless you all thank you so much for participating in this learning